Left hand fist, courtesy. All right. Um, so today, look, we're gonna be looking at some, some locks, some sweeps. Uh, I wanna try to m keep it as simple as possible. Um, locks and sweeps can be, uh, well, especially just wrist locks, elbow lock, shoulder lock, that's the main locks we're gonna be looking at. Um, what my teacher used to say to me about wrist locks and holds is you shouldn't look for them. You shouldn't, you shouldn't go chasing after them because uh, they uh, can be risky. If you're looking and trying to create yourself an arm lock or a wrist lock or an elbow lock, it can be flawed. So he said they should fall into your, they should fall into your lap and happen naturally. You shouldn't try to uh, put them on because um, uh, Essentially, you're trying to grapple with someone can essentially they can be bigger and stronger than you. Uh, one of the other flaws of wrist locks is people have different levels of sensitivity through joints. Now, anyone who's done any sort of joint manipulation before will have, have encountered people that don't feel the locks or the submissions the same way other people do. And they just literally don't feel it. They don't have the same nerve connections or whatever it may be. And the only way that the lock will work is if you actually break the limb. And uh, th throughout my years of teaching, I've had, you know, a handful of people that just, you put a lock on them and they just go, the tension's on the arm. And if you actually went any further, you would break the limb, but they don't feel the pain that other people feel. So this is another setback. You don't know how much a person will feel. And put into context in a uh, real world, world situation with people are on drugs or alcohol or drugs or any description, that can also change their level of um, pain and um, what, they're, uh, what they're willing to do from that lock. So sometimes locks can be very useful, sometimes locks can be very flawed. Okay, now we're going to go through just a handful, just maybe three or four different types of locks. Um, and that way um, we, can, we can draw on that information. Now, the first one, well, you know, a little bit of history of joint locks. P people often os ask me when I do a lock, isn't that, isn't that judo? Isn't that aikido? Isn't that some other system? And all, all cultures and all martial arts systems have joint manipulation of some description. And it doesn't matter what system you come from, be it Chinese China or Aikido, or Japanese Aikido, or Judo, or Jiu Jitsu, or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you're going to see crossovers of techniques. Because the fundamental is the, 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 the fundamentals are that, that the human body doesn't change. So there's going to be crossovers with techniques, doesn't matter what discipline you're going to have. Okay. Um, I think that the biggest thing that you'll see that differs from what we do is we bring it back to the principle of the system. We bring it back to the technique, be it the striking or um, the, the blocks and strikes. So uh, when we look at the Wu Sao to Lap Sao technique, which we, we were doing today, which we're, we're going to continue, um, that's where we're going to start today. Okay, when you see this movement, this movement, this lap cell movement on the center, and you see it also like this, but we bring the elbow in, and then you do lap cell, and anyone who's done the chum kill form, you drop the elbow, and you do the lap cell here, okay? Um, that's where we're going to start, to put on uh, a wrist lock. Now, if I can use Sifu Daryl, can you have a Sifu Daryl? We'll start with the cross arm wrist grab. Now, essentially, when you see some martial arts systems, they do this technique. Now, if he wants to hold my wrist there, I will not wrist, lift the wrist. It'll be very hard for me. And if I start mucking here, this hand generally is just going to hit me straight away. So immediately, I must have my Wu Sao ready on this hand. So I want to be offensive. The best thing to do as, uh, to begin with is not to think about defending, is to be offensive. Now, all I'm doing is changing my side neutral stance turning my body. By turning my body, I bring this shoulder closer to me and take that hand and make him step, which is all, all really important parts of this position. This is the first thing you should do. Because when he stepped there, it's very hard for him to generate any power to strike. Okay, so 
the floor of this grip is the opening of the grab right here. And if I do this dynamically enough, you hold me tightly, it's very hard for me to, him to grab me. But some people, if you're smaller and their hands are bigger, you might not get it out. So really, I want to keep this on my center and turn. Just turn. Just relax. I won't do it. Hard. Just you know, hold, hold on to me like you don't want to let me go. Okay, yeah. And flick the eye. Now, this is where the wrist controls it. When I'm front on here, it's, it's very hard for me to, if I want to lift here, I can't. I have to drop this point below this point, but that leaves me really susceptible for the punch. So it's very important why I must turn here. Now I have more space here. You see the space I have in front of me here compared to here now? It's very, I have to come around here now, okay? So when I turn here, flick, Okay, we're going to change the angle a little bit. Um, yeah, from here. Yeah, when I turn here, there's more space here. So now, this should be on the center. I can drop this up. This is the Wu Sao and your Lao Sao. Okay, now, this position create the wrist lock. Okay, now, I don't want to get too caught on doing this wrist lock. You don't have to use both hands. Okay, one, two. Now, it's already on him. It's already on him. He doesn't like the feeling of this, so he's probably going to let go. So, I want to cover that elbow as quickly as I can. Okay? Now, if you get to here, which is what we're going to get to straight away, and we're going to get to here, that's what I want. Now, if I do this section movement, and I do it with a tan so it's alright. It doesn't feel too bad, does it, through the wrist. As soon as I do that, though, the wrist lock starts going on. So all I'm doing is going from Tan to here, but I'm the back here. Now the lap actually makes it even harder for him to hold. And if you do it dynamically, it's very hard for him to hold now. So we're going to start here. We're going to turn. Very small movement. I don't need to move away too much. Then I lift up, control. If you want to do the actual wrist lock, you bring it down. Now from here, when he comes down, you can knee here. You can put the knee. Because you want to not think about always restraining, you want to think about the lock into the strike. All right, now, don't get me wrong. Again, he has a takedown from that position. If I try to knee, and he grabbed my leg, it's flawed, yes? But if you get him as he's going down, the knee, time the knee, you have a strike from there, all right? All I want you to do to start with is turn, flick, bring it up, and control, just control, all right? So grab your partners, let's start doing this one, okay? One, two, three, okay? From here, it can be three kick, Okay, the knee can be risky because then he'll take you. Again, you whip and you bring this up and he's still holding. Just put pressure here. Here and then bend his arm up and get this position. I can do this position. I can do this position. I, I, I go here and the arm straightens up. Then I want to go to this one. Now from here, you have the knee, you have the strikes from here. The point where you go here, that's when you want to knee here. All right. If you think he's gone down, he's very balanced, then you change the angle, and then you move from here. All right. You have to. If he's gone down and he's sitting all upright, he's just waiting for that knee. You don't let. You don't give. You take out. Make him put. Make him post out. Don't. You have to. You have to look at how they're. How you're affecting them. If he's still upright and thinking like like a little jack in the box, ready to go. You haven't affected them the way you should. You see how Sifu Daryl just went down. He's like, come on, give me the knee. <laughs> give me the knee. Because again, you're looking for a counter. How, how do you defend against this? How do you, how do you, you know, bring me down here. And if he's down like this, he's just waiting for the knee. Or he's also waiting to drop here and you're getting your ingress lock. Okay, and then, you know, he's, he's going for the, the control. By going this way. Right. Yeah. What I can do is I can bring this hand back to here. 
So it's very easy to go from here straight up into the thumb. Now I'm going to T-step back the other way. One, wrist lock. Two, elbow lock. Three, back to wrist. Four, back to elbow. Elbow lock. So I've just gone wrist, elbow, wrist, elbow. Bend. Bend the arm. Roll it over. Chin. So you're here. Bend the arm. Roll it over. <laughs> you're getting to here and you're, trying, you're finding it hard to get him down. So you hit here. Then you're, yeah, and you can't get control of the, the arm. So you bend, then you straighten it again. So one, two. From here, you just bend it again. Here. And you thread. Then you pull. Now you're in position. His arm. All you do is you bring this hand back onto the thumb and you're stepping back this way now. Back. Okay. Here to get back to this way. Take this one under. Okay, I'm making it big. I'm making the movements big so you can say, catch. Take this foot back. Yeah. Now see how you're leaning? Yeah, I want to keep your back straight. Even if he's off the ground a little, come up. So if, stand, stand up, stand up the way where you were. Okay. So even if. See me? No, he's he got to, <laughs> I'll break his arm from there because, stand up, when I bring him down here, there, when he goes that way, I come back this way and I've got his elbow above my knee, because when he spin out that way, I bring it back on the arm, so you're getting him going that way and the arm going this way, okay, go here. I can do it there as well. So when he comes, he starts spinning this way, then you take it back this way on the arm. So it's like you're bringing this point to this. One, two, three, four, and then you can apply this one. All right, you can do the one we did. Okay, stand up. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, from here we have the sweep this way. This one. All right. Now if you're going to do the inside one, you've got to give him a bit here as well. All right. So if I'm going here, you need to get behind. Yeah. Now be really careful because he's going to fall, and if you don't support him a little bit. He'll land on his shoulder and can cause serious injury. Step this way. You need to control. Yeah. Control here. And this sets you up straight away for the knee as well. Off this point. Okay. So it's inside, lap hit, control. Alright, you got your knee here. Alright, if he's down already, you got your glass up. Alright, your glass up. You said legs out? Straighten that one out as well. Put your thrust here and you do your lifestyle chop. You're already here. Now this position here, you, you're bringing it here. This is what you're looking for. Okay? So, when you guys have done the grab and the one, the one, two, three, it's right there as well. Okay, so grab this one. So I'll flick here, it's right there as well. So it's, it's, it's just a matter of getting this. Or one, and you put that up, boom. This side now. So I just took the Wusau hand. We'll do it the other side, I'll do it very slowly. He blocked it, I just take this arm this way. Okay, so it's just a matter of getting 
finding your normal, this is what I was saying at the very beginning, don't go searching, you know, <laughs> you start reaching and trying to do something to set something up, it's not going to happen. You need to find positions that are natural, that are natural, you understand, that, that are, they're already, you're already in a position where you can flow straight into them. Uh, or, you know, you're doing bonsai a lot, you know, and you're doing things from natural positions, you know, and yeah, yeah. from here, all right, from here, you're going straight away, okay? So, again, when you, when you, when you get caught and you're clinching, then you, you, again, you're not, see that sort of stuff, you, you, you're going to get caught out. It has to be there. It has to be there. So if, if the, you know, if I've done something here, he's, he's blocked and so I can go from, you know, if, if we're going here, then you can go from here. It has to flow really smoothly because the more you stumble and the more you're mucking around with things, the more you're not going to be able to achieve your goal.